did it, everyone. Hi, everybody. Hello, uh, stream, and everybody watching via VODs and all other places on the internet. Hello, and welcome to part two of our one shot. Kind of a two shot now. It's a one shot, part two of one shot. Death House. It's one weekend. It's one weekend of Curse of Strahd's Death House. And I am taking my lovely friends, my work D&D crew, through Death House for the lovely season of Halloween. Um, I highly encourage anybody who is big into D&D to run Death House around this time of year. It's, it's a great opportunity to do so. Tis the season. It's a really fun one shot. And um, yeah, I I've been enjoying it thus far. And it seems like the rest of the gang has been enjoying it thus far as well. So I'm glad. Uh, but yeah, um, so housekeeping things. Um, yeah, so this is part two. So if you haven't seen the first half, um, it's available. I'm going to upload this all to YouTube later, but uh, I have the first half from yesterday we played, uh, but cut it a little bit short. I had a feeling we were probably going to because the last time I ran this, uh, same thing. We uh, kind of cut it in half around the same time here. Um, just because to really get the full experience, I think it takes more than four hours of a session. So for anybody who's planning on running it themselves, I would recommend doing the same, unless you're like a hardcore, like, we're going to do a day of D&D, &D, eight hours, all right? We get one <laughs> lunch break, which we've done before, um, by the way. <laughs> we've done those, like... That was a lot of fun. Yeah. I we did, like, ten hours a day or yeah, something. Yeah, it's like... We ran for seven hours last session, and Did we none really? of us. I, yeah, wow. Wow. and I don't think any of us realized it because I was recording it. So I saw at the end, I was like, "Oh, that was a seven-hour recording." <laughs> oh my gosh, we're, wow. we're, hard, we're hardcore here, guys. We're hardcore D and D players. Oh, uh, yeah, no casuals here. Um, <laughs> Filthy yeah. casuals. Yeah. <laughs> Um, so yeah, uh, yep, so this is the part two, we'll see how it concludes for the group. So far they're all still alive, but barely. They managed to have a long rest. Um, <clears throat> but yeah, I guess before we begin, what I'll do is have everybody reintroduce themselves so we can, one, make sure the audio for everybody sounds good, and two, uh, for people who are maybe new and just tuning in, can get an idea of who you are and who your character is that you're playing tonight. So let's start with, uh, let's start with the opposite. Frank, you start this time, and then we'll go uh, clockwise. Hi, everyone. I'm Frank. I work on eSports at Corsair with most of these wonderful people. Uh, play a noble campaign with also most of the people here where I play a uh, philandering rich haughty noble and now i am playing a very aloof monk who has somehow accidentally wandered into a haunted house and it's going well yeah uh i'm vanessa also known as a cat i run all the social accounts for uh elgato i play in a couple campaigns now uh for with george and all of them uh one of which uh is a secret and the other one <laughs> is a bard who just I, it's, i'm new to bards so been having fun with her um <laughs> but yeah i'm excited this is fun <laughs> uh hi my name is Bijan. i also play in the noble campaign as an evil cold dark-hearted <laughs> noble <laughs> uh and <laughs> And uh, in this campaign, I play uh, the uh, good aligned Order, the uh, paladin half orc. And recently, I've been trying to write D and D songs, which have been featured in some of Tracy's streams. Oh yeah, with her other yeah, with her other that. group. They're yeah. so good. They're so yeah. good. Hopefully, there'll be more of those coming up so soon <clears throat> on the stream. Uh, and I'm Andrew. I work at Corsair as well, do public relations. Um, and I'm playing the counterpart to Ordare, Law. We're a detective duo. Um, we've been working together 15 years and we're having fun in this death house. Indeed, fun, as some would call it. But now we return to where the now party 
last left off. As you can see, um, they have decided to take a long rest in the lower level of the house. They have crawled through most of a death house here. They went uh, through every floor in the house and made it to the attic where they found the bones of the two children who once lived there, who were locked in their room and starved to death by their parents. And uh, with that, the group um, were able to find a secret stairway, that small stairway spiraled down into the basement level of the house where the children did say there was a monster. And this, this uh, lower level is kind of, from what they've seen, to be more of like a catacomb crypt style. Uh, they found multiple crypts. They were able to lay the children's bones to rest. And uh, they've fought quite a few things since coming here, uh, including the last thing that they just fought, which were two ghasts of uh, Gustav and Elizabeth Durst. And... Um, with that, uh, we had two party members go down, uh, Marshall and Zendaka, uh, or sorry, it was Marshall and Order, right? That, and Zendaka. And Zendaka. Also went down. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. Order yeah. rolled a nat 20 to get back up. That's what he was able to get up, yep. <clears throat> right. But Zendaka and, uh, Zendaka and Marshall, the two of you, uh, were unconscious and a few hours before you could, uh, wake up. Um, yep. and meanwhile, Viola and Ordere, uh, kind of barred the doors and took a long rest. So the two of you can mark a long rest. Um, <coughs> Viola, actually, Order. while you were sleeping, you had a dream. I have uh -oh. a nightmare. <laughs> Sus. Another nightmare for my partner. Hope those go away. You had a nightmare of their cousin Fred Durst. <laughs> oh, yeah, definitely a nightmare. <laughs> Order, <laughs> as you sleep, you dream. You see two children in front of you. One of them doesn't exactly look like the child that you saw beginning of the house, or even upstairs. It looks like a child that you recognize. A child from your past. A little girl? Little boy? It's hard to tell. Maybe two? You walk up to them. You reach out. The little... The little boy... He reaches out to you as well, but right before you can grab his hand, he falls over. You see a green ooze emitting from his body. You try to help, you try to lay on hands, do all of your, your paladin things to try to bring him back up, and nothing's working. And the other child stands in front of you, crying, weeping, sobbing. And you wake up. You have a long rest. Zendaka. You try to rest after being knocked unconscious from one of these ghasts. Your life is brought back to you and you are in a trance state for a few hours and you're able to wake up and rest for a little bit. In and out of these dazes, you get visions in your head. Dreams, maybe. It looks like Viola in your dream. Is it a dream? You're not sure, this lucid state that you're in. You see her go in her robe and pull out a dagger. And she stands over Marshall's body, about to stab him. You get up, you look up. <laughs> You wake up. You look around. Everything looks the same. You see everybody resting. It must have just been a weird dream. Or was it? You try to keep going in and out of sleep, but you're not able to. 
you have a really rough night of rest after everything that's happened. And when you wake up the next morning, you have a level of exhaustion. Viola, as you sleep, you dream. You see a statue. Similar to the statue that you saw in the other room almost, but it's hard to tell. They're holding an object, a purple object. It glows. It glows and glows and like a moth to the flame, it draws you in. You're so curious of it. What is it? What is this thing? I need to know. You need that knowledge. You need that power. You walk closer, you grab it, and the light pulsates in your face. You are blinded, and then I see all around you mist. Mist and fog surrounding you. You feel suffocated once again, similar to the mist outside. And you wake up. You do have a successful long rest. Marshall. As you sleep, you dream. You try to sleep as well, similar to Zandaka. You clinging to life just a few hours ago on the cusp of life and death. Your consciousness, it's hard to tell what's being awake and what's being trying to sleep after the ordeal you just went through. You see shadows all around you. And then you see in the distance a windmill? A windmill? Maybe you've seen windmill before. Where where have you seen it? And as you do, you see three old women coming out of the windmill. They come closer and closer to you. They look at you, examine you, pull up your chin, look around. Then they pull out daggers ready to strike. You try to grab something to attack back, but you're paralyzed. You can't move. And then you wake up. You, too, were very similarly in and out of your conscious state, not able to fully get a night's rest after everything that happened to you. And you also suffer a level of exhaustion. The four of you wake up after about maybe six or seven hours of rest in this place, and you're all awake. Nothing has seemed to come at you in the night. You just wake up in the same place with the same chanting. The whispers in the distance that you once heard are still there lingering, unending. What would you all like to do? To be clear, I'm not exhausted, right? Uh, you're not exhausted, and Ordair, you are also not exhausted. Just Marshall and Zandaka. Oh. Do, do I, do I at least get a short rest? For uh, some, you get some, so yeah. you get a. I believe you get a long rest. Okay, but so I get you just full, have full HP. Yeah, you exhaustion. just okay. you just have the effects of one level of exhaustion. Perfect. So the two who were. <clears throat> Downed and nearly killed. I imagine Viola <clears throat> wakes up. Oh, I had the most wonderful, peculiar dream. I slept so well, though. So well. Best sleep I've had, possibly. Well, that's really impressive. I I didn't sleep at all. I, not very well. Law pulls out his flask and. Yep. Sleep. Yep. Did they teach you how to sleep good at that special school you went to? They did. They taught me how to get the best sleep and exactly what to do to do it. What you have to do is, well, I don't think you'd understand. But Maybe best not. sleep I've had takes a lot of rigorous training, at least two years. Oh, oh my. I'm, I'm sorry I left you with her, Odair. <laughs> it's okay. Oh, rude. We, uh, we managed to pull through. I'm just glad that you did as well. I couldn't leave you, you know, alone to fend for your life. What else would you do without me? 
I honestly don't know, partner. Well, based on... Now that I assume we are all rusted, there is that downstairs area. I believe that's all that is left. Yeah. The basement. The basement. Yes, where the chanting was really loud. Well, if you're I guess we better hop to it, or we'll be in this house for a really long time. Hmm. Did we search this room already? Oh, no, we haven't searched. You have not. True. I'll I'll search. Okay. I feel at this I'll point you'll let to go the of the stealing, considering there's just ghosts in here now. Roll me a... Uh, uh, whoever wants to search, roll me an investigation check. Okay. 25. Oh, 25. All right. Uh, Makes sense. The uh, attention would be so high. <clears throat> in this room, Marshall, you actually find quite a bit. Um, in the footlocker, you find a cloak of protection, uh, a small wooden coffer containing... Checked. Uh, a chain shirt, a mess kit, a flask of alchemist fire, a bullseye lantern, and a spell book with- Oh my gosh! Okay, there's a lot here. Uh, I'm just gonna- <laughs> There's a spell book with a lot of wizard spells, which I don't think anybody can learn, but it's nice. That... What? Rip. what? How dare you assume that I would not understand the spell in this <laughs> Yeah, voice? take this spell book, see if you can make any sense of it. Oh, of course, this makes total sense. She has no idea. The, yeah. I can learn these Plenty easy. of spells just... in there for you to charge up. Yes, yes. <laughs> what else was in there? Is there anything? She knows how to cast spells. <laughs> so, this is all that's in there. Uh, yeah, so Cloak of Protection, whomever wants to take that. Uh, I snagged that. <laughs> <laughs> and I could use it. <laughs> Chain shirt, mess kit, flask of alchemist fire, bullseye lantern, a set of thieves tools, and a spell book. With disguise self, identify, mage armor, magic missile, protection from evil and good, dark vision, hold person, invisibility, and magic weapon. We need gold Jeez. to win those though, right? <laughs> That's true, you also need gold to learn them. Uh, yes. Do we have any gold? No, right? We just have the adventure kit? You just have whatever was in your adventuring wares. Whatever was on- unless you have a noble- well, depending on what your background is, is I think also depends on how much gold you have. I'm wealthy, <clears throat> but I don't think I'm noble. Okay, that's fine. Mm -hmm. I, either way, she would pretend that she could, of course, learn these things. Now, Tracy, what would you say would happen <clears throat> if a sorcerer tried to cast something that they did not learn from a book? Just out of curiosity. So, sorcerers cast spells innately. Wizards are the ones that mm. learn from a book. She wouldn't understand that a wizard book is different yeah. than a sorcerer book then. Yeah, you probably look and it would just be like, these are words. Yeah, like this is, wizards are weird. Why do they have to read books to learn spells? I'm gifted okay, okay. and I can just exactly. know spells. So. <laughs> okay, cool. Um, but yeah. Well, I took the uh, cloak of protection. Um, and the, uh, I saw a flask, so of course I took that. So I have the alchemist fire as well. Um, does anybody want the bullseye lantern? Just uh, for going down into what the- What is uh, that? It's a really good lantern for seeing. Uh, 60 foot that. cone um, for bright light and then 60 feet of dim light on top of that. I can see pretty well in the dark. I was gonna um, say, Marshall, you're probably the one who needs it the most because you're a human. Yeah, that's true actually, yeah, go ahead. Yeah, I'll take it. it. Alright. Anybody want this chain shirt or thieves tools? I already have a set of thieves tools on me. 
I'll take the thieves' tools. I picked I'm a lock a earlier, thief. even without them. Well, the chain shirt won't do me much good, though. I have no hmm. need. So I'll take the chain shirt as well. I'll just take everything. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Yeah, I don't know. I may, I might be able to use the shirt. Um, oh, I'm wearing chainmail already. Yeah, yes, you're probably. <laughs> oh, never mind. Well, if you want it, let me know. I'll just keep it in my inventory. Uh, not as important, but you guys also notice that there's actually these, these two little like alcoves. That's where the guests actually were when they came out and attacked you. Uh, so when you walked in the room, they came out of these two random little cavities on the wall. Mm. But yeah, that's... Don't like that. Yeah, just random. Hmm. Mm. Well, we found the parents, at least. Well, now I guess we should go to the basement where all the chanting is. Yes, I agree. Come this far. Hey, Tracy. Can't wait to find what out what that's all about. Red, green, and blue circles above the character mean. And then I have like a little orb. Oh, yes. Um, the red, green, and blue circles above? That just, that oh, just yeah, shows that's just... what our... Wait, you see around your character. Stop. You have... Everybody stop no? moving. Go back. Uh, who went first down that hallway? Uh, I'll, I'll lead the, the pack. Okay. I'll, I'll be leading. <laughs> <laughs> Probably me. <laughs> oh, yeah. Uh, uh, so, Ordair, you went first? We'll go with Ordair, yeah. Yes. And you all are going Unless north. Unless someone says otherwise, I'll be, I'll be leading the pack. Probably. Yeah, going on north. Um, roll me a dexterity saving throw. Oh, really? Yes. That's the worst one. Okay. Ooh, sure. I guess maybe I should have gone first. Cool, a two, but... Negative one, so a one. <laughs> Unnatural one. As you are walking, um, you realize that or you're kind of just like heading out, and you guys didn't end up going this way last time, but right True. in this square here, um, there's a wooden plank that just doesn't sit right, Ordair, and you're walking over it, and by the time you notice it, it's too late. You fall. Uh... You, uh, take, uh, let me just roll this. Ah! In Jeez! In a fashion, I didn't take Featherfall. You, uh, fall into a pit of spikes that Jeez. is about, uh, 15 feet below you. Um, and you actually oh have, Lord. there's some, there's some, like, water as well here, like a, a murky black water that's around and you fall into a pit of spikes uh, and take seven piercing damage uh, as you uh -huh. fall into this trap door. Spikes. Yeah, the dirty water upsets me more than the spikes. <laughs> <laughs> yes, now you're covered, like your nice uh, your nice outfit is now covered in murky black Hold water. Hold on, order. I'm gonna throw him a rope down the pit. Take nine oh. hepatitis damage. <laughs> 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 yeah, you're gonna need a tetanus shot after that one. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Uh, well, another job that I gotta get tested afterwards. As I. What jobs have you been taking this? <laughs> <laughs> he did it's real like well on that hepatitis test. He got drink. an A, a B, and two C's. <laughs> Kill me now. Uh. Can we pass this way, or do we have to go around now? <laughs> Maybe we could jump over it. Yeah, it's a five-foot uh, square. So up to you guys. Do we all have to roll dexterity checks? <laughs> uh, wait. So order. Jump. Did, did you uh, get order out, or? I just threw yeah, a rope down. Oh, you threw a rope down. Roll, roll a roll a strength check, uh, little monk, okay. to see how <laughs> how well you pull up this big orc, half orc. Okay. Seven, uh, he's rolling the strength. Okay. Uh, yeah. Um, that should suffice. I. I. What's your, your strength score? I assume is very high order. Uh. So. Yeah, mine's high. 
Okay. Yeah. You you are able to pull him up. Uh, yeah, and I would I had to help too. I have high strength as well. So yes, if you want to jump or you know if you want to go another route, you can do that as well. Um, but uh, you can attempt to jump. Maybe uh, let's go around the giant pit of spikes. Could I? Know there's another way. I'm not could quite I cast a mage hand. Um, mage hands. I don't know how big the mage hand is. Mage, mage hand can't like lift you. Yeah, yeah. It can, only, it, it can only interact with like cups and really. drinks, and like open yeah. doors well, it can and only shit. Carry up to ten pounds. Okay. Okay. Cool. Yeah. yeah. Fair enough. She would have I'm, passed through the second hand mage hand anyway. <laughs> I'm, uh, I, I'm too old for this. So I'm gonna. I'm gonna have to go around. <laughs> yes. Uh, I don't want to waste any spell slots. So you guys go back around, back into this room, and and Viola, you see that back orb up. again, and that statue. Mm. You sure you don't want that orb? Looks really shiny. I do, but don't you tempt me, DM. <laughs> Get your temptation out of here. You see the statue? It's a real the George nice move over there. A real George move. Yeah. No. I think Le- I'd leave love it be. Leave it be. <laughs> okay, and you guys walk um, down the stairs, and sure enough, you hear that chanting. It gets, Here we go, boys. It gets louder as you go downstairs. Believe you for a second, George. You're a goddamn liar. Yeah. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna take you guys down these stairs. I'm gonna just move your guys' tokens. <laughs> How dare you? <laughs> <laughs> and um, what's everybody's dark vision? <clears throat> I is Got it, it getting dark? <laughs> It's getting dark. As you go down these stairs, there is no light. 60 feet for 60 me. 60 feet. I will use the bullseye lantern then. Okay. So you guys all have vision. Um, yeah. Ah, shit. Uh, <laughs> the earth shakes. <laughs> uh-huh. <laughs> all right, give me one sec here. Um... Yeah, someone in chat. The chanting is the factory warranty on your car is about to expire. <laughs> Hi, I wanted to call and talk to you about your student loans. The worst. Um, so, as you guys walk down these stairs, a ghostly chant emanating uh, from this room just fills the room. And you hear, finally, after all of this time, trying to hear what, discern what that chanting was, you can finally hear it. Over and over again, you hear, He is the ancient. He is the land. 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 Catchy. That well, doesn't sound good. Wonder who they're talking about. Do we why see would, anybody in me walk? Why out? would a person you do not. be land? You hear the voices as if they're here. They're so close. Uh hello? Is there a monster down here? We came for a monster. On Marshall Detective Agency, announce yourself if you're here. And as you're looking in this room, you see 
all across these different little alcoves are different relics and items. There's daggers, short sword, long sword, there's armor, a helm. Does it look like anything of use or just old stuff? Um, no, it actually looks like it could be armor. Mm. Any of you guys want some of this stuff? Can can I, I do no a like a investigation or perception check to see if there's like any traps or anything that potentially um, could sure roll me an investigation check. Twenty two. Twenty two. Um it looks like it's hard to tell. Um some of this looks like it could be arcane. Um there's one that's like a, a long wand and it looks like it could be a magical wand. Um uh, Hey you uh Viola Viola uh there's a wand over here if Different. you wanna take a look at it. There's no such thing as a wand. Do I use wands? I don't even know what I equip. Uh, can I inspect if it's going to be like a trap or anything? Um, roll me, yes, roll me an investigation check. Uh, yeah, yeah that's fine. Um, 14. it does look like it could be a wand, but a wand of polymorph even? For a moment, it looks like one that you've seen um, in in your school. Um, but then it looks like, upon looking at it again, no, it looks like it's a fake, like a a stick with something attached to it, like somebody was making to be a wand, a, very similar to a wand of polymorph in particular. So it looks like a, a fake. Yeah, it looks like a knockoff. Huh. This is isn't the real deal. This, These are knockoffs. Not worth my time. Is that an altar at the bottom there? Uh, down here? Uh, yeah. Make your... Down there you see... Um, <clears throat> one moment. Is that water? Yes, you see water. It looks like there is a, um, a little, like... A uh, ramp that goes down, and then there is a small little portcullis uh, right there. Maybe we should Ooh, keep going down the path since uh, there's more to be explored. Well, I guess so. If these items are knockoffs, there's nothing here for us, right? So which way are we going? Uh, shall we take a vote? Down the hallway or through the water? I don't really want to go swimming. I would much prefer to stay dry, thank you. Yeah, I okay. thought that was pretty rhetorical, to be honest. <laughs> um, upon exiting this room, you hear oh, again yeah. the chanting. He is the ancient. He is the last. He is the ancient. He is the land. He is the ancient. He is the land. It gets louder, and he is the ancient. He upon is leaving the, land. the room, all of the items. Who's in? What's the marching order? I guess I'm going first this time. Who's in the back? Yeah. Uh, I Mar assume. Marshall. Uh, uh, there. Final command from the rear. Or, yeah. Marshall, you're the one that's able to see this as your guys are going through this very narrow hallway exiting. All of the items and objects that you see, the different armor, it starts forming into a suit of animated a armor. Second hand ghoul. <laughs> And it grabs an Ooh. axe and starts following you guys down the yeah, hall. Oh, maybe hey, we uh, deal with that first. Let's 
guys, let's let's uh, turn around here and and there's something following us. Uh, looks like animated armor or something. It's I don't know. Let's let's uh. There a door we can us. close. Uh, there is no door actually. It's just like a narrow hallway. <clears throat> well, we could me... take it apart or something. Should we press on to get into a bigger area to fight him? This corridor isn't exactly conducive for a fight. Oh, he's so little. Oh, he's very <laughs> tiny. He's, he's, baby. Uh, he's growing. <laughs> <laughs> but there may be more ahead. Or we can push yeah, back. I think we should deal with this one first. All right. Let's... They push him. All right. All right. Uh, Guess I'll push back. Roll him in the water. Roll uh, initiative. I'm gonna re-roll or re re reload the roll twenty app. My mine is like off by like two squares. Looking on the stream and Yo, looking in. <laughs> I rolled higher yeah, than a too. one. Wait, did it? Yeah, I rolled a fourteen. <clears throat> this is exciting, everyone. I'm proud of you. That's really. <laughs> that's really. I'm something. excited. Thank you. All right. One moment. One second. Yeah, I'm still loading into. Yeah. Aha. You know why? It's because Adam's not playing. There can only be one good roller in between the two of us at a time. <laughs> hey, the armor rolled really bad. It did. Good. <clears throat> that thing. All right. So. Who rolled what? We have 14. Viola, 14. Or Dare, 2. Mm -hmm. uh, Zandaka got 17. Zandaka, 17. Law got 9. Law got 9. And Armor got 2. All right. So, um, Zandaka, you are the first. So again, it is all. it is kind of narrow here. You can technically like walk in between your friends if you wanted to. <clears throat> yeah, this is a. Uh, I guess I'll try to walk back to the other side of the armor and attack you. Okay. So it's a little tight. Um, <clears throat> something like this. Yeah, I don't but know. Uh, I'll. You can roll. Like. You can roll normally. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> I am too gracious. <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, well, that's... That didn't go very the dice well. are not. <laughs> <laughs> the dice are in my favor. Uh, I guess I it will misses. martial arts him and with my bonus action. Does 21 hit? That does hit. All right, five damage to a suit of armor. All right. I don't know if this is working, guys, but uh, I guess we'll find out. Okay. Um. All right. Next up is Viola. Stand aside. I will take care of this. Mm. Don't you oof me. I've heard that one. <laughs> That is an 18 hit. That just hits. Okay. Go so ahead and roll your firebolt. Disadvantage. So here's the first one. <laughs> I think that might be it. Wait, let's see. Uh, I got a three. So that's what um, we'll go with. Okay. All right. You hit, oh. you s hit it with the firebolt. There, you guys see a, a flash of uh, just a small spark of ember fly past you. <laughs> <laughs> and it hits this armor. <laughs> it does look like it hurts it. Lots of charging up. And <laughs> for a small thing of ember. And uh, next up is Law. It's about what I expected. Uh... How dare you don't understand the concentration it takes to create magic. I will uh, attack. Yeah, we went to a real special school. Special, all right. <laughs> I'll attack with my short sword and dagger. <clears throat> oh! Oh! 
Oh, oh I grabbed yeah, 20 yeah. and a nat 1. Wow. We <laughs> got the... both extremes right here. Well, um, short sword is more damage. So that's good. Yeah, roll. Okay. Oh, no. 7 plus 1. Uh, crit. 7 plus crit 1. That's 8. The crit 1 is unfortunate, but still yeah. awesome. Okay. You do a good deal of damage to this uh, this animated armor. Um, you try to slash it with the dagger. You with your off hands, and the dagger yeah. actually, with the nat one, it kind of gets stuck in the wall for a second, and you're stuck. You may have to tent, uh, spend some time pulling it out. Um, <clears throat> with Left that, hand is weaker. Uh, uh, Order, you're up. Okay. Uh, so I'm going to... Well, am I going to be able to get past? I'm going to push through and get on the opposite end of this armor here. Okay. Uh, yeah, that's fine. I will and, uh, and I'm going to pull out my trusty Morning Star and hopefully hit him. Okay, I miss. <laughs> okay. How unfortunate. Ah. I'm charging up to you. <laughs> and with that... <laughs> charging! <laughs> the armor is going to... It makes two attacks. It's going to slam into uh, Zendaka with a 13. Does that hit? That misses. Okay. Nice. Uh, and then it will attack again uh, with an 18 to you, Zendaka. That does hit. Okay. <laughs> oh. Oh, come on. <laughs> oh, you take eight bludgeoning damage. Max. Oh. That really hurt. It slams into you with all of its might and all of this metal chunking into you, even some of the spikes on it hitting into you. It really hurts. Oh. Uh, and uh, with that, Zendaka, you're up. Well, I'm going to circle around it, and I'm going to take another swing at this thing. That really hurt, mister. Why would you do that? that 23 hits. hits. 10 piercing damage. Whoa. All right. You strike it right back. Is it still alive? It is, is it still, still moving. It's still alive, but it's like part of the armor is starting to dissipate off of it. It like it loses a gauntlet and uh, the shoulder starts falling off. It's not looking good. All right. I will just use my martial arts and hit it one more time with the offhand. You're going to punch and its head off again? <laughs> we'll try. It's my specialty. Oh. Was a 14 hit? That misses. Unfortunate. It's hmm. okay. And with that, next up is Viola. Right. Let's see now. Do another firebolt. Oh, and that one! <laughs> I am charging up very much. Uh. You watch this other ember uh, emit from her and just go whoosh, completely past Zendaka. It scorches the side of your hood. It doesn't. You don't take damage from it, but you you lose a, a chunk of your of your hood from the flame uh, as it. You know, flies I think you might want to get some money back from that school. I could be. But no, the no, aim, no. The it aim takes is not so good. much work to control this power. Uh. Uh, Law, you're up next. I'll take care of it. Don't, don't you worry. Law, Law you I, attempt to take, take care, care of it, of it. <laughs> <laughs> but you miss. You miss again with both, <laughs> with both uh, uh, swipes. Again, you know, taking maybe more time to pull the dagger out of the wall, yeah. and it throws Tell you off down. completely. Tell me more about how you're going to take care of it. And with that, uh, Ordair. Perhaps Ordair can finish it off. Yeah, Ordair's got this. Does he? Ordair? Ordair? Yes. Oh. <laughs> My, okay. Uh -huh. Sorry, sorry. Um, yeah, yeah. I've, I've got this. The vote of confidence. Uh, Viola or Viola, and I'm like, yeah, even I'm nervous. <laughs> <The way laughs> she's like, she looks at him and goes, uh huh. 
<laughs> and I, I, I swing the morning star uh, apparently a little half-heartedly above my head and I go for its head. And that is a... Oh, I thought it was a one. That's a seven plus six, 13. That Does also hit. misses. Oh, oh. You poor children. The armor goes oh, again boy. for its multi-attack. Still, it's it's lost some of its armor. It's starting to deplete, but it doesn't... It tries to uh, go for you again, Zendaka. Uh, oh, um... Actually, use, it would go for you, Marshall. Oh, you have a reaction? Okay. It's going to go for Marshall, actually. Okay. Okay. Oh, okay. Even better. Protect Text my me, partner. partner. <laughs> um, my reaction is... Uh, protection. Uh... Creature you can see that attacks target other than you within five feet, so I can impose a disadvantage on somebody that's being attacked within five feet of me. Okay, Ooh. so I will roll again at disadvantage. Oops, I'll take the first one. Oh, <laughs> unfortunate for you all, as <laughs> you're also 22 and a 21. Um, but he, you'll it's get the. the that counts. Uh, so the first <laughs> attack hits, we'll roll the damage. Uh, you take six bludgeoning damage, uh, and he does make another attack at you, and he will roll at disadvantage. Um, does a 17 <gasps> hit? Yeah, how much damage? <clears throat> oh, no. Uh, six Blue bludgeoning. Shit. Perfect. Oof. Does the reaction apply to both attacks, the disadvantage? I think it might only apply to one. Uh, what's oh, the spell? Maybe. Just oh, protection. Just one attack. Well, it's just regardless, he hit both reaction times point. anyway. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. He didn't miss, regardless. Um, <laughs> All four rolls hit, so. <laughs> yep. <laughs> uh, and with that, Zandaka, you go. Well, let's see if I can get him this time, guys. I hope so. I hope so, too. Uh. Does a 20 hit him? That does hit. And oh my All gosh, right. five piercing. Oh, you're so close. He like his literally the all of the the chest plate falls off and there's just like pieces of of the plate and leg and his head is what remains. He is barely clinging on to his weird animated right. life. I'm good at this. <laughs> I can do this, guys. No oh. Tracy. <laughs> but, but, but you miss. Uh huh. <laughs> Who will be able to finish him off? Viola. Will it be you? Too strong. It will obviously be me. I've been charging up this entire time. <laughs> you know what? I'm going to charge for another round. I'll let you take this, possibly. We'll see. Law. Will it be you? <sighs> to do everything myself. Mm. Does not hit. Dagger, please. <laughs> please, dagger. That hits. Hey, hey, and hey. with your foot left, your offhand, you're like, you slash and you're like, oh, the loud sigh, and you just throw the dagger into him, and it does take out the very last of this animated armor as it completely <sighs> crumples to the ground. Yes. You did it. Uh, <laughs> I knew you could do it. Like to have it. That's my partner. Taking well, down ghosts. Somebody you know, had to do it. Maybe we should uh, rest here for a bit before we go on. Are you sure maybe you want to do that? For... Look in the, the water. Maybe there's something across the water. Let me see. The chanting continues. He is the ancient. He is the land. He is the ancient. He is the land. Law, you think they're talking about you when they say he is the ancient? I know you're getting yeah, pretty close to retirement. Friend old? That's not very nice. That, that is a good one, or dare. Uh, remind me, I have to talk to you later about something. Okay. Um, sure so... Thing. Zandaka, are you going to uh, slide down the little slope to the portcullis? Yeah, I guess I'll, I'll okay. look and at least see what I can see down there. 
you look down, um, the the floor is submerged in about two feet of more of this murky water. Uh, not as murky as the one that Order saw, but it's still kind <laughs> of uh, it's still kind of murky. Um, you look through, and yeah, it's like a rusty iron portcullis. Um, and upon looking, you kind of see in the room just a bunch of like. A bunch of water, maybe some stairs. Um, but what you do see is a, on the other side of the portcullis, a wheel. It looks like it uh, could be raised. Uh, the raise is the portcullis, but it's on the other side. Well, I guess we can't get through here, guys. We're going to have to go back the way that we came. Back through the little tunnel. All right. Mm. At least I get to stay dry. Let me lead this time. I don't want to be in the back again. All right. <laughs> I just have a feeling that that just you're gonna get hit for the back again. <laughs> <laughs> My own hubris. <laughs> What's the marching order? <laughs> Who's going first? I would first? like to be third. Marshall and I'm then second. Yeah. I'll be third. Okay. Oh, you're putting me in the back. I'll stay in the back I'll then, stay that's the fine. I, was say, I thought that fight, you had very powerful magic. <laughs> very powerful, however, I have the lowest HP. After that fight, I'm also going to cast Cure Wounds on myself. Okay. Seven. Seven healing, okay. It. You head down this room, mm. and it looks like there's shackles all around this hallway. Um... It doesn't look like there's any bodies here. All that remains are some uh, skeletons and um, just a bunch of it also bones. Looks like a dead end. Yeah, bones littering the floor. Um, and yeah. <laughs> or dare these shackles? Isn't that what your wife's into? <laughs> How would I you know that? I want to quit the campaign. <laughs> not, not, How would you know that, Marshall? <laughs> <laughs> I, I guess. I've seen their bedroom before. <laughs> oh. Okay. It feels like a noble campaign. <laughs> you do see one. I now. hang my head. I, I, I told you that in confidence. <laughs> <laughs> you do see uh, right in this one, if you're kind of like walking down and looking through, um, mm -hmm. there is a human skeleton clad in tattered black robe. Is there anything on? Uh, on that? You find a golden ring on its bony finger. Hmm. Any clues on it? Any insignias? Anything? No, it's arcana? the rope. Um, you can roll an arcana check, Viola. At Dixie Fanti, let's see. Well then. <laughs> Oh, I rolled uh, 10 on both, so, yeah. Um, the only thing you notice is that it has a black raven on it. Black raven? Does anyone know about a black raven? Not particularly, but it could be There's evidence, no maybe. I don't think so. Maybe we should hold on to that, Ordeer. What do you think? Sure, bag it, law. All right, I'll take I'm it. Waiting for the are you sure? You take it? I guess it's safe. It's evidence. I think we need to take it. You take it. And nothing happens. Why do you have to say it like that? <laughs> you take it. You're the worst. <laughs> I think we should maybe investigate this room a bit more. If I I'd like to remind you all that uh the staircase down here was hidden the uh, uh, architectural means. Maybe if we uh, and I start pulling on some of the the shackles and like looking for oh, goodness. some sort of Viola's knocking on bricks. <laughs> yeah, looking for hollow sounds. <laughs> so, yeah, I'd like to just investigate. Uh, this yeah, room roll me, roll me bricks. a investigation check. We're really Scooby doing it here, looking for a book to pull. Nine. Twelve. 
Anybody else want to investigate? Yeah, anything? I would. Uh, I'll try. I'm not very good. 19 or 20. Hey! 20 and 19 there yeah. we oh. go. All Law. right, two 20s. Law and uh, Zendaka, you guys immediately see it right by where Vi Viola is, actually. She's staring right at it, but she does not see it. <laughs> you guys, uh. however, <laughs> see a, a secret door that pulls open and leads you into the room that you There's a door through. right there, dummy. How did you see it? I was clearly investigating it. I was making sure it was safe before I hmm. said anything. I don't Maybe you should stick you to No, after, after you. Maybe you should stick to books. Cut it. Zendaka, that, uh, that's some fine investigative work you have there. Oh, you think I have maybe a future as an investigator? Uh, absolutely not, but <laughs> you did a good job. Oh. Gee, as you thanks. enter. He is the ancient. Oh, no. He is the lad. Oh, it is quite he loud. He is the ancient. He is the lad. He is the ancient. He is the lad. He is the ancient. He is the lad. Is that a circle trash at the bottom? And as you all walk in, the chanting actually stops. As you walk into this 40 foot square room, the smooth masonry walls provide excellent acoustics. For all of the chanting that you just heard. Featureless stone pillars support the ceiling and breach in the west wall. Uh, and a breach in the west wall leads to a dark cave heaped with refuse. Murky water covers most of the floor. Stairs lead up to dry stone ledges, one with your, which you're on right now, that hug all of the walls. And in the middle of the room, more stairs rise to form an octagonal dais that also rises above the water. Rusty chains with shackles dangle from the ceiling directly above a stone altar mounted on the dais. The altar is carved with hideous depictions of grasping ghouls and is stained with dry blood. Oh, a dais. Looks like we got a classic sacrificial altar here. I don't like this at all. Like it or not, we must press onward. Well, where do we go? At least it is quiet now. It's a, a nice If relief. we step out of the room, does the chanting start again? <laughs> It'd be funny to go back and forth. <laughs> <laughs> I think, um, uh... I would want to investigate the, the little wheel at the top. Yeah, I'll go with you. You pull the wheel, and it does manage to move the portcullis down. Um, and so now that uh, opens the area to where you previously were. I guess I'll go up on the other side here and see if there's anything over here. I'll be going along the bottom, check out mm -hmm. the scratchy. I would follow. Okay. You ready to take a swim? Um, it's not that cold. How deep is it? I'm more concerned of my robes. They're quite expensive. Uh, two feet. Two feet deep. I will lift the robes. Is this a big pile of bones? It's hard to tell. It's... You see... Your bones... Flesh decay... All sorts of Oof. garbage all piled up. Well, I guess the only one other thing to look at is that altar. Anyone brave enough? Well, you're... I shall go. Oh. The Didn't educated. expect that. How dare you? I am quite brave. Well, I'm going to go up for protection. <laughs> Not that you need it. Oh, I but appreciate it. Just me just too. In case. Oh, no, literally, <laughs> I have the reaction of protection. <laughs> uh, I would like to investigate the altar. As you all step on the altar, the dais, the chanting rises once more 
as 13 dark apparitions appear on the ledges overlooking the room. Each one of them resembles a black-robed figure holding a torch, but the torch's fire is black and seems to draw light from it. Where you'd expect to see faces are voids, and they begin to chant, but something very different. Must die. One must die. One must die. One must die. One must die. die. One Are they saying must one die. must die or one must die? One must die. I'm not gonna kill one, one of my friends. You're all insane. One must die. One must die. They chant over and over. One must die. No. Does that include them? Because then this would be easy. Yeah, one of you can die. Yeah, it seems like a lot of people have died already in this house. I don't see what one more is needed for. Yeah. We're not murderers. We're just people errs. Oh, it, uh, yeah, what he says. Us, I think. <laughs> one must die. One must die. The chanting does not cease. Well, I guess we now know what we must do, friends. Kill one of them. One must die. (laughs) Use some of your fancy finger wiggling magic. Let's see what I have. Does anyone have a small pet that they don't care that much about? A turtle or a small frog? Can I, uh, I didn't bring mine. Can I fire a crossbow, a crossbow one bolt at one die. of them? One must die. One Roll an attack. Must die. One must die. One must die. One uh, 17. One must die. You fire, and it goes die. right through one must the figure. One oh, must well, that's not good. One must die. One hmm. One well then. Can I uh, investigate the altar to see if there's anything hidden on it or anything like that? Roll me a religion or insight check, whichever you prefer. Yeah, I was gonna. I prefer insight. Thing. Nineteen. Okay. It does indeed look like a sacrificial altar, and if something is to count as a sacrifice, it must die on the altar. Hmm. Hmm. Have we seen anything alive that we could sacrifice? I don't recall. Um. Can we find uh, one of those centipedes? some small bug or insect. I think we killed all of them already. Oh, surely there must be more in this crypt. (laughs) Perhaps we don't have to die. Perhaps it's just a blood sacrifice. Well, you go right ahead. Uh, Law will take his dagger out and cut his, uh, his left hand. And, and s- squinch some of the, the blood onto the altar. You and I'll also take damage. Mm. Uh, roll me a d4. Three. Take three slashing damage from slashing your wrist. <clears throat> Or your hand. Hand. <laughs> Slashing your hand. <laughs> Slashing your hand. The blood drips onto the dais. The chanting continues. One must die. What happens if we just leave? <laughs> yeah, let's just go. Let's just leave. We don't need to be here anymore. There's no monster anyway. We die. might trigger. One we might we might die. make them mad if we try and leave without. 
without appeasing their demands. Well, I'm not what? sticking around to die, so what you, I'm leaving. What do you suggest, Ordain? I'm not sure. Die. Maybe if if half of us stay here to appease them and see <laughs> that they might they might think that we might be willing to kill one of us and the other two would go out and find an insect or a squirrel outside the premises. <laughs> That's an idea. Uh, Ray, why don't you two stay here and I'm going to start running across the water towards the exit. Viola, you want to follow? Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll follow to make sure he's We'll safe. hold down a fort. Hold up. Tell some I, I turn to the, I turn to the, so to the spirits and I explain to them our plan. I say, now hold up now. We will I've bring you left. your sacrifice. <laughs> we have some friends outside that have a sacrifice. So we're going to get that move back. Zandaka, do you leave this room? Yep. As you walk past the portcullis, the chanting stops. And as Zandaka walks past the portcullis, the figure is there. They begin chanting something else. What is it that they're saying? The awake. Decayer. We awaken thee. Lorgoth, the decayer. We awaken thee. Death be praised. The end comes. Or dare, this does not sound good. And emerging from that pile of that mound below all of you emerges a figure. The end comes, death be praised. Lorgoth, the decayer, we awaken thee. And a huge mound of flesh appears before all of you. Its arms protruding, arms on top of arms. In front of it, hundreds of eyeballs and flesh from all different angles. Its legs have flesh and decay all around it. A shambling mound of flesh appears. Well, Cute. I guess we better kill that thing. Ooh. That could be the sacrifice. What do y'all say? Yes, let the sacrifice. That makes sense. Let's make sure that it's on the altar. Well, when we I'm going to shoot we that kill thing. It. And I'm just going to take a shot. Okay, roll to hit. That didn't go very well. <laughs> you An eight. Uh, all right, everybody roll initiative. Look at these powerful rolls. Yeah, we all rolled well for once. Nice. Yes. <laughs> Are you actually going to hit them though? good. Yeah, <laughs> like, okay. initiative's okay. great. I don't need your It's great sass. to go first and okay. miss. <laughs> what did the monster roll? We don't need to know that. Nice. Oh. He's a slow boy. He does his best. Silly monster. Tricks are for kids. Uh, or dare 18. And the mound, shambling mound, two. All right. So, Zandaka, you fire at it to start the initiative and miss. It actually, the, the flesh kind of sucks up 
this crossbow arrow and it the mound begins to slowly creep and emerge from the ground viola what would you like to do uh how far is it from me uh it is about um let's actually there's a rule does it have a token (laughs) it's about 70 feet from you okay uh that way i can if i want to cast other things i will fire fire bolt 21 hit wow viola will take care of this one second while i roll damage that's the first damage but really the damage was three (laughs) okay um and roll me uh an intelligence check, uh, oh. Viola. Just a, at a, regular or at regular is fine. Okay, intelligent check. Um, she you can roll smart. me like a straight intelligence, not not a saving throw, but oh, just not a save. Uh, uh, this one. Is that the one? Yes, and after hitting it okay. with your firebolt, it takes some the damage from it. Uh, not as much as you thought. Um, it it I doesn't seem to it it doesn't seem to really absorb the the damage that you um, that you hit it with, and you realize this thing is a lot more powerful than the four of you, <gasps> and could likely squash you like a bug if you remain here. I think we need to run. <laughs> oh. Okay, then. And with that... Of all the education. <laughs> or dare. Can I use my movement? You can. Viola is going to book it. My movement I have is... How far can I go? 30 feet. So... Okay. How far can that put me? Um, so... Let me just... Get... Yeah. 15, 20, 25, Because I can 30. still hit with Fireboat at 120 feet. But... Yep, so you're about there. Okay. Okay. Hmm. And with that, uh, Ordeer. Uh, I guess I will make my retreat. Okay. I'll say, we'll be back to take care of you with the proper resources. <laughs> <Spirit>. <laughs> um, so that's five. I'm about here. Okay. Uh, Zantaka, you're up next. Yeah, I will also just book it. Okay. Uh, We're yeeting ourselves out of here. I can um, I can run 80 feet. Yeah. Actually, Tracy, can you move me right where the water starts? I have an idea. Okay. Um, all right, so with that, uh, law. Also be dashing. <laughs> okay. The, fa- the, the chanting gets lighter and fades as you guys exit. You still hear it very faintly. And the shambling mound will make its movement. Yes, the end comes. Death be praised. Um, And with that, uh, Viola. I would like to use my second hand, Mage Hand, to close the port. (laughs) Oh, okay. Um, That's smart. That is smart. (laughs) I would Um, like to thank my degree at Black One. uh, (laughs) Specifically, uh. Vajir, who taught me so well. Yes. (laughs) 
So you um, you use your mage hand to pull the portcullis back up. The rusty bars pull up, um, and it does uh, create a barrier for you guys. And then I would like to use the rest of my movement to yeet myself away. <laughs> okay. Uh, how, you can go ahead and move uh, me. I'm not sure five, how far 30 ten. feet is. 15, 20, 25, 30. You're about cool. there. Okay. Uh, or dare. Uh, I am going to continue uh, moving. Yeah. So, yeah, I mean, I don't want to go up the stairs alone. Like, I could dash ahead of everybody, but I'm going to stick with the group. Okay. And I'll lead the way up the stairs. There. Okay. Uh, that's your full movement. So it was here, so. So I guess, I guess I'd be up here. Okay. Yeah, I'm not gonna dash. All right. And with that, Zendaka, your turn. Let's keep going up the stairs, dashing all the way. And then I have five yep. more feet of movement. So yeah, you'll be back up uh, at the other stairs. Okay. Uh, and law. Is it still like it's trying to come for us? Uh, it does. Yes. And if you want, roll me an intelligence check. Nope. Nice. This shambling mound looks like it actually is able to morph and form based on what you saw, the way it formed from that pile below you, that mm -hmm. it could potentially morph through the portcullis. It will take some time, but it will be able to follow you. Guys, <laughs> keep running, and I'll dash. <laughs> well, you don't gotta tell just, me twice. Across the map. There he is. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay. Investigation complete. <laughs> and with that, the shambling mouth will way through. And I'm going to roll. Oop. I'm just going to roll something. Oh, that's not what I wanted to roll. Uh, let me just roll straight to 20. Okay. Um, that uh, is its turn. So back to the top of the round, Viola. I would like to use my movement and also cast mage armor on myself. Okay. Does that say 126 hit points? Yes. <laughs> oh, <laughs> shit! I didn't <laughs> oh my god! Yes, it does. That was is beyond us, Frank. No, I wasn't gonna say anything, I... but I know. Oops. I was like, "All right, guys, keep running, keep running." <laughs> I would like. That's why I was like, "I would like to put on some armor." <laughs> I would like to get the fuck out. <laughs> okay, you you activate your mage armor and use and your movement. So 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, oop, 25, 30. So you're about halfway up the stairs there. Uh, all right. And uh, Ordeer. I uh, I continue to run. It does not, yeah. I'm not going to break away from the party right now. Okay. So I will say that you guys all, uh, oh, shit. Uh, you guys can all move your tokens back up to those stairs here. Okay. Ah! Shifting the map. Um, okay. Uh, where would you guys... I'll, I'll pause initiative, but I'm going to keep your guys' rolls um, <clears throat> for now. Um, you can just tell me uh, where you would like to go. Back upstairs to where we yeah. got into this dungeon. Mm -hmm. uh, back to the, the spiraling staircase to go back up to the attic. 
Although there's also this ladder right here. That yeah, what we is didn't that? Go I don't do think... we want to spend time. I don't know if we ever saw that. What action. ladder? Yeah, I don't think. I mean, it's still yeah, it's part hidden. of it's blocked off. It's this ladder right as me, my character. Oh, yeah. Are we not supposed to see that? Um, no, you could see it. Uh, I just don't even. It looked like it came up from like another area below, and then we can like climb up this ladder to get to another area as well. I just assumed it was farther into the game. I suggest that we uh, attempt to close this case when we get out of these catacombs and uh, burn the house down. All right, then back upstairs we go. Oh yeah, this yes, is a secret door to the other. As much distance room. as possible. Okay, so you guys kind of right. beeline it to to the spiral stairs. To the spiral yeah. staircase. Yeah. Dashing, okay. Dashing all the way. Uh, everybody, just roll me um, uh, athletics checks. Yeah. Let's see who's uh, making the fastest beeline here. All right. <laughs> 14. Best Look at you. Or dare. You are an athlete. Or dare. These expensive, heavy robes. Yeah. Uh, Viola kind of in I'm the like back. Too fast. Like, I'm like leaving you all behind. <sighs> like her, 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 uh, her arcane legs are just not, she's like, oh, she didn't uh, take P physical education class in, in her uh, no. arcane school. <laughs> and she's kind of struggling a bit. Uh, Zandaka still kind of shook from that giant thing, uh, also kind of trailing behind. But uh, Law, you managed to keep up pretty well. Uh, Ordair is just like a football player making his run down the catacombs, back to the stairs. He remembers exactly where I was. And you guys make your way all the way back to the attic. You go all the way up those windy stairs, all the way up, all the way up, kind of looking back for a second. Maybe you heard something behind you. It's hard to tell. The pressure is on. Uh, okay, I guess it's not working. Uh, you hear... <laughs> You hear a sound behind you as you're going up the stairs. The house begins to shake a little bit. You feel the, the foundation of the house even rattling from below you as you go all the way back up to the attic. And you guys make it to the attic. And as you look in this room, all of the windows are bricked up. Well, the door, I guess we gotta go back out the front door. The door in front of you is replaced by a scythe blade. Shing! 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 And the stove right here in front of you is filled with a noxious gas. Oh, shit. <laughs> the room is heavily obscured. And everybody roll a constitution saving throw. Oh, Jesus. Uh... Ooh, not 20. I have nice. such a constitution. So constitution. <laughs> you all... Do we two, two nat 20s and unnatural 20 yeah. and then 10. You actually all make the save. <laughs> you, you begin like the Ooh. air, um, it's like, uh, it's almost like carbon monoxide um, as you're smelling it. Uh, it's like, oh, it smells like gas, it's not good. Uh, you begin to feel a little faint, um, but you all manage to resist the, the poison uh, that's coming from the smoke in the air. You see the interior walls are rotted and brittle. This house has changed. And it doesn't look good. The entire foundation shakes and trembles in front of all of you. And the door continues. Shink, shink with the scythe blade. What would you like to do? Can I try to shink. memorize the timing or something? You know, you like the rock? You absolutely can. <laughs> Uh, roll like me, <laughs> roll me an intelligence check as you study the the blade. Oh, I'm not very oh, good at he's that. He's real intelligent. <laughs> shing, shing, 
Uh, Shing. Wait, why isn't it? Shing. There we go. Uh, First one, 11. Okay. You see a monetary gap in the repeating movements. You think that maybe you could make it, but it's like, you're kind of still unsure about it. You think you may see a gap though. I think, could my guys, second I think hand I might be able to- Hold it. What? I I can my second hand mage hand hold it? Um, oh. I don't think mage hand can I hold any force. I don't wars. think you'd be able to. Yeah, it's like pounds of pressure. It's probably it's you probably can swinging use the hand for more to than manipulate 10, an object, open an unlocked door or container. Um, I can move the hand up to thirty feet each time I use it. So I, I don't know. Do you tell me? But it's got like a weight limit, right? So I would yeah, imagine it does that have a weight limit. Swinging yeah, for can more than carry pounds more than ten pounds of force. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah, I don't um, think it would. I question: What are uh, what material are the walls made? Um, Dr they... drywall, plaster, uh, flush. I would say it's uh, more of like a, a plaster, yeah. Ooh. Okay. Yep. Can we bust through the wall? You can attempt to. Roll me a uh, strength ath athletics. Try. Roll me a strength athletics check. Yes. You oh, got this no. sword there. Okay. Eleven. You do athletics. break a uh, like a five foot section of the wall. Uh, you do create a hole. However, uh, a swarm of rats comes out and uh, begins to- uh, <laughs> uh, Our sacrifices, what the fun? Why did it have to be rats? I think it's too late um, for those sacrifices. And they <laughs> will bite at you. Oh no. Oh, oh lord. A 20. <laughs> Uh, well, at least one it was only six damage. Two d six piercing. Oh, lot of light. Hold on. I diced for six. Yeah, so it's six total, right? Uh, yes. I don't know why it rolls so many dice when I like. Yeah, it rolled. It, it freaks it rolled, me it rolled out. a bunch, but yeah. it seems like the <laughs> number is right. Yeah. <laughs> you take six piercing damage as the rats come out and bite you, uh, or dare, but you do manage to make a hole. Uh, I would say maybe like right. Uh, wherever you want to uh, mark it, maybe I'll just I'll just say like here. You make a hole in the wall. Okay. Oh, maybe that's easier than finding a timing in the blade. Good job, Ordair. Let's yes. uh, let's go through it. Yes, let's let's keep uh, going back to to the front front door. I, I guess I'll try to out. go through the door. Um, and at this point, uh, as you guys are all back in the house, uh, I would like to keep the initiative order that we had. Um, I will go, uh, I guess we'll go ahead and start, or dare, you're the last one to smash through the wall. It was your, that would be your turn. Um, Zendaka, uh, what would you like to do? I mean, are the rats actually still attacking us, or did they just? Uh, they are still they... there, actually. They are uh, kind of coming out and attacking your friend. All right, well, I'll try to kill the rats before I jump okay. through the hole. Go ahead and roll um, to hit. Twenty-one. That uh, does hit. Um, do I and get you... rid of all the rats? You do not. Uh, this swarm, um, uh, one sec. Uh, you are attacking them similar to the centipedes that you guys were attacking earlier. Mm -hmm. You don't do all the damage that you thought. Um, and, um, yeah, it, uh, uh well, it does I'll damage. I'll punch it too. Okay, go ahead. Uh, 22, so five 20. more damage. And then I'll step through the rats to the other side of the hole. Oh yeah, both of these were 2d6 rolls. Okay, no, no, 1d6 and 2d6. Oh. Yeah, it oh. says uh, one plus two for the first one. And then, oh, the other one was only 1d6. Yeah, because the other one is if it's half That's damage. That's weird. Actually weird. 
bug. I'm not gonna hit. I'm not gonna use the bite action in, anymore. That I think it has. So it should have only been it's because of breed. swarms, right? Like they they have. Oh less yes, than half swarms. Do. Yes. Yeah. Sorry. They yeah. Do half damage. Right. 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 Um. Okay. Uh, with that, uh, Zendaka, you go and you go through. Uh, as you go through, they take an attack of opportunity. Um, I'll go ahead and get, uh, let me just grab something real quick. Or the, to mark the swarm. The swarm! Um, they take an attack of opportunity, which is just a... And they miss. Nice. Well you done. Rats. Actually, rats are really clever. Okay. Never. That's... And... <laughs> Yay, with... they miss. Go away, uh, you rats. With that, we go to... Uh, Wah. I will strike at them with my short sword and dagger. Take care of these rats. Um, Perfect. I'm glad. Well, at least my dagger hits. The hit. dagger hits, yes. <clears throat> Stab them. Okay, so again, you uh, feel like it also didn't do all the damage that you wanted it to, but it does hit. Um, and with that, uh, next up is the rats. Um, they are going to bite at you, Law. Um, okay, hey. that, that misses. <clears throat> and with that, uh, Viola, you are up. Uh, how many rats are left? There is about 17 left. <laughs> Viola is going to be like, there were 24. I don't have time for rats. And she's going to just walk past them through the hole and okay. then as a reaction cast shield. <laughs> okay. Um, so you, as you walk through, um, you do have nice AC, which is good. They will try to bite you. I get a plus five. To my AC. So 14 does not hit. Does not hit. All right. They try to bite. You guys watch Viola confidently walk through as these little net rats try to their little fangs gnarling and biting at her, but it does not. Her arcane armor just completely snubs them off. Um, and the with the are like so already? thick. <laughs> uh, or, or, or dare you would have made it through. Uh, actually, no. Uh, you just broke no? the okay. you broke the wall. Broke the um, wall. Now you're standing there. But you're yeah. I, I didn't say rush you're... through it like a football player. I didn't. <laughs> 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 like a joke. I would say Yeah. You didn't. Yeah. Um, what is it? Kool Aid through it? No, you did not. Yeah. <laughs> uh, it is okay. your turn. Okay. Uh, I. I guess I am going to. How, how many rats are left? There are 17, 17 rats left. <laughs> <laughs> we have a blob chasing uh, us. We do not have time yeah, for rats. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna run through. What, okay. what do I roll for that? Uh, you just can move, uh, but they will uh, take an attack of opportunity on you. Oh right, of course. Yeah. Oh man, hey. these rats are not doing well. They miss. Uh, yeah, again, they rats. also try to nod you, but they can't break your your uh, uh. into your flesh. Um, and with that, uh, next up is Zandaka. I guess I'll take a shot at the rats and then go down the stairs. Okay, go ahead and roll the hit. 19. That does hit. And falls into the swarm. Okay, so you uh, get into a few of them. It looks like there's like 13 left as they are <laughs> crawling through. And uh, yeah, you manage to do a decent amount of damage mm. to them. And you and head I'm down the stairs. Going downstairs. Okay. Uh, Law, it's your Shall turn. We, um... oh, oh. I'll uh, slash them and then use my movement afterward. Okay. Um... That. Ooh, 
Oh, oh, man, your dagger. Always rolling the my left ones. hand. It's a little, mm. little weak. It's because the cut is still there. Mm. Well, mm -hmm. the 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 piercing does hit with your short sword, um, taking out a, uh, a few of them, and um, your Trying dagger does get stuck. Uh, be because of the nat one, it again hits the wall and gets stuck in the wall. Do you continue forward? <sighs> yes. Okay. You continue forward without your dagger. And <clears throat> uh, they get an attack of opportunity as you go through. Uh, 14 to hit. Does that hit? Uh -huh. Yeah, that hits. Look at his face. His face uh -huh. hits. <laughs> I'm gonna get <laughs> got messed up by centipedes and rats. <laughs> Uh, Didn't you put on armor or something? Did take that five, have it. five piercing damage. Do you have the cloak of protection? I do. It's only plus one to AC. Uh, oh. I have a chainmail shirt, but I didn't put it on, so I didn't want to like cheat and say that I put it on. Because I, I thought about it earlier when we started fighting that giant thing, and I was like, I'm not going to do that. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay. Um, and right. with that... I made it through. Uh, the rats will... Get rid of my dagger. Uh, they are going to thanks move... Thanks for the subscription, West Wolf. Hey, thanks, West, West Wolf. Um, they will try to attack you again, Order, order uh, as they follow you guys. They also have movement. Uh, they will take a bite. I don't need to stay in the room. Um, I don't know why I thought that. <laughs> Twelve to hit? That... Does not hit? No, no. I'm a Ooh. big chonker. Okay. <laughs> and, uh, all right. Viola, your turn. <laughs> I will go on down the stairs. <laughs> Damn, rats are falling. They're gonna fall. Yeah, they're gonna fall on us. You're not even Five. gonna attack them before Five. going. Yeah, I will so cast, attack and move. I will cast no. Firebolt to She's going to nail you, or dare. She's going to roll that no. one and nail you. Does 15. a 15 hit? That does hit. Woo! Okay. Let's see, one second. Wait. Woo. I didn't want to shame her into attacking the rats. Now I feel bad. Yes. <laughs> Three. <laughs> Wait, no. Uh, eight. eight. Yeah. Uh, that no, does my other things. manage to, uh, with the fire, let me just check. Yep. Yeah. Fire, uh, does take out the rest of the rats and they all Woo! disappear. I imagine she's like, Bye, like a, a flamethrower. She's like, shh, I hate rats. And then continues down the stairs. <laughs> okay. Never uh, have we seen these at black ones. Or dare. Uh, Law, do you still have that lantern? I do. Maybe we should spread the oil along the path behind us and start lighting this house ablaze. I have fire. <laughs> she pops back up. I have fire. Yeah, we've fire. seen her do a lot with fire. Maybe she can light the house on fire. Though, I, uh... that is kind of dangerous while we're still inside it. Well, I, mean... oh, I expect us to be leaving post haste. I'm fire resistant so <laughs> can i can i do like a, a perception <laughs> check to see like if i if i think that the rest of the house would be like bricked up and like would it it do i think it'd be possible to get out uh like from where you are right now yeah based on like the current knowledge i have like because that previous room like the windows were bricked over and stuff like that uh roll me a perception check <laughs> Um, well, you're looking at this b window here. It is also bricked up. This door also has a scythe. This door also has a scythe. This door also has a scythe. It looks like this room has completely changed. Let's... Or dare, let's go the floor below and check it out before we make any brash decisions. All right, I'll defer to your judgment, partner. I have, uh... And I but also I do have. I think we should burn this place to the ground. Well, don't you worry. I have 
alchemist fire that I can throw down. Let's uh, go Why down the floor and keep making our way out. We can burn it after we get out. Also true. I was hoping to slow the pursuit. Sorry. With that, Tracy, why is there a heartbeat? Tracy, you all feel it in your heart. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. You all, you all feel the pressure to move faster as the house continues to tremble as you walk down the stairs. It rumbles like an earthquake. You're worried that this place is going to collapse on itself. The wood creaking and cracking, and you all proceed down to the third floor into this room where the same thing you're approached with the uh, windows bricked up oh, no. windows bricked up this fireplace a noxious gas comes from it everybody roll a constitution saving throw <sighs> oh Ooh. Oh no! <laughs> or dare! <laughs> He's a healthy boy. <laughs> Zendaka, you take four poison damage as you come into this room and <coughs> breathe it in. The rest of you manage to resist it. And yeah. you see at the doors again shing, 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 the scythe. Or dare, can you do that thing with your hands again? <laughs> yes, uh, I'm gonna have to bust through two walls looking at this map because the door is right there. We'll no, no, right. the the way you healed me before. That's yeah, I wasn't thinking about that. Uh, <laughs> absolutely, I can do you one better, uh, and I'm gonna cast Cure a Wound. I have that now. So wait, Tracy, the stairs right oh, in front of uh, so Law, better. is that the stairs we just came from? These stairs here? Uh, yeah, yes. These yeah. stairs. We so yeah, you come, these. yep, you came through uh, this room uh, through like the little mirror uh, secret door and yeah. Mm. Okay. Could we technically bust through the wall here? You could try. Well, I'd like yeah. to avoid this site, so perhaps you should do that thing again. This yep. this direction. <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna get in my football stance, crouch down, kinda stamp my feet like a bull and Wait, run. This time into we'll the wall. all kill the rats together, okay? <sighs> Agreed. They don't let's, get... let's hope there are no more rats. <laughs> <laughs> something worse. <laughs> Uh, okay, so you're gonna punch the wall. Uh, roll me a strength athletics check. Twelve. Uh, a twelve. Um, that, uh, let me just check again really quick. Uh, uh, actually, I meant to do this and I didn't do this earlier. Um, Roll me uh, just your unarmed strike uh, to hit it. Or do you hit it with a, a weapon? You can actually uh, roll with whatever you want to hit the wall. It, technically, it has hit points. Um, so uh, roll to hit or roll your damage. Uh, sure, I guess I will do then my morning star. Oh, no, oh. wait. Okay, no, um, I'm wrong. So uh, you're actually fine with the athletics check. You're able to just punch through it. I just misread. Um, but you punch through it and uh, bless George for adding this. Um, he is a gracious DM. Because as you punch the wall, I'm uploading it right now. <laughs> a swarm of rats. Ah, that does not. Rat. That does Why not that sound happen? gracious at all. All right, well, I guess we're going to attack all these oh rats God, again. I see him smiling. Stop smiling, George. Uh, Stop smiling. We go on our job. Ah. Next time we go on our job, we hire an exterminator to accompany us. Yeah, about Test that. control. I don't know if there's going to be a next time or there. 
and the rats will, uh, so, uh, I realize, uh, I guess I'll put us back in initiative again, um, uh, I apologize, or dare, uh, I, I will put you in the initiative and I will start with the rats, um, <clears throat> oh. <laughs> Great. <laughs> he loves it. Because <laughs> you initiated this. <laughs> they miss. <laughs> they miss. Um, and uh, the top of the round, Viola, you can go first as you see your friend punch the wall and the rats uh, pop out. Again, I hate rats. Uh, I will cast Firebolt at them. It's an 11 hit. Mm, that... Hits, actually. Hooray! Okay, so one or two. Okay, so I do five points. Okay, and uh, you hit it, and unlike everybody else, you feel confident that all of the fire that you just shot at them did hit, and they uh, cinch up into the air. Of course uh, I do. And of course I do. Um, with that, uh, Ordair, you're up next. Okay. Hitting that morning star, swinging it oh, around. Sorry, someone's at my door. Uh, oh. So yeah, I'm gonna Careful. do like a sweeping motion, like okay. I'm trying to brush them away, like the pests they are. Is it Pitawick? Be careful, Frank. Fifteen. <laughs> that does hit. Uh, you All sw right. swipe some of them away. Not as many as you would have hoped, uh, but you do. Um, okay. And with that, uh, do you do you have any movement, or do you stay where you are, where you are? Um, I'm gonna stay where I am for now, I guess. I don't want to take an attack of opportunity right now. <laughs> okay, uh, Zandaka. Yeah, I'm gonna run to the rats and uh, attack them, I guess. Okay, roll to hit. She. Twenty-two. I'm guessing that, that does hit. Um, once again, you you hit it not as much as you had hoped, but you hit him. Uh, okay. Then, yeah. Bonus section. I'll hit it. Seventeen. Yep. Wow. Uh, you're you punch and and smack into them and and kill some more. Um, so that's that. Okay. Uh, there's still a few remaining. Just a handful remaining. Uh, maybe two handfuls. Uh, and <laughs> what the, uh, how many hands? Yeah, I'm like doing math. Uh, two handfuls <laughs> remain. Depends how big these rats are. <laughs> Depends on how big the hands are, I guess. Uh, oh, I've seen some very big rats before. Yeah, New York City rats. I was in DC. These are, yeah, these are uh, city mm. rats for sure. Barovia has some, a bad rat problem. <laughs> uh, and with that, uh, law. Yeah. Uh, I'll attack with my the long sword that I took from the house earlier because I no longer have my dagger, so I don't want to do two. Sixteen. That hits. But I did two handed attack, so twelve. Ooh, right. nice. Whoa. Uh, Big damage. Uh sorry, I have to do the math. Uh half of twelve. Okay, you You strike through them. Literally only two rats remain yeah. as you swipe through all of them. Um, and yeah, that's uh, that's your turn because you don't have your second weapon. Uh, the the two rats that remain will try to bite. We'll try to bite you. <laughs> we'll try to bite you. Uh, they're scared me. <laughs> scared me. Scared me too. That was uh. Zendaka. 14 does not hit. Okay, they they miss you. Um, and Duh. Viola, it's your turn. Uh, she will cast again Firebolt. Okay. Ben them out. And you just What's managed to hit them. Yes. Nice. Yes. So, hold on one. And, and that boom. cinches the remaining rats as they all disperse. Okay, I'll take it. And um, you guys are able to proceed through the wall. Uh, I suppose I will keep the initiative as this house remains lethal. And uh, with that, uh, Viola, you can use your movement if you'd like. 
Yes. Okay, so, so I was, hold on, I was five. here. Yeah, I'll let you move. So 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. So you're at like the top of the stairs here. Uh, and Ordera, your turn. Okay, yeah. Rushing in, rushing behind, uh, down the stairs. Okay. Five, 10, 15, 15. I, have, I can dash, right? Yes, you can. All right. Head all the way down then. So you'll dash all the way downstairs. Uh, Zendaka. Same thing. Gonna dash all them down the stairs. Let's get out of here. Okay. So you use your full dash and law. Wait for me, partner. Can go a uh, few feet down there. All right. So you guys all proceed. Uh, Viola kind of trailing behind a bit, but not far behind. Uh, down to the second floor. The same thing on this floor. Uh, I will leave it to what you all want to do, but you see uh, the shing, 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 the same thing on this floor. Well, I think better the rats than the blades, right? Those look like they hurt. I guess uh, we can keep killing I rats. I worry the first floor. We can, yeah, we can keep going down. Yeah, we don't need uh, to burst yep. through another wall. Oh, yeah. My bad. Let's keep going <laughs> down the staircase. Okay, and you guys proceed to the first floor. The house continues to tremble and shake in front of all of you. And, um... Uh... I guess that would be... Viola, you... you top of the round, your turn. Um, you kind of are behind everybody else because they've been dashing ahead of you um mm -hmm. so you kind of i would say you make it to the bottom of the stairs um what would you like to do you see the same thing scythes at all of the doors um and actually roll me a constitution saving throw all of you as you make it to this floor 15 15 oof oh. All right. Gas. Ooh. Why did it have Does to a be ten gas? Pass? Uh, ten just makes it. Um, so let me just check again. You take one poison damage oh, as you okay. you hold your breath, you inhale a little bit, and it does like hurt you as you take one poison damage. Yeah. To stymie the stench, I'll take a swig of alcohol and calm my nerves. Um, um, can I magic missile the sights leading to the doorways outdoors? Um, that's a good question. Don't like that. I don't like it. The mounds <laughs> is following you. Uh,. I don't know if you're able to attack the blades. Um, you can attack the wall. It looks like it's uh, rotted and brittle. Um, but but the, what about the wall to the outdoors? Like if you I can, were to attack, um, say, oh, I, I can't grab me. There we go. Like this way. Um, Where's that brick? It is brick. So the only okay. walls are the interior walls that are like rotted and brittle. Uh, the scythe so blades are like then, a metal blade. Our best bet would be to attack here and then to attack here. Yeah, like. so let's, uh, I say let's break we through just some walls. Break through some more walls. Okay, you can either right. you can either punch it I'll or you can I... attack it. Uh, Viola, um, if you want no to, magic athletic? missile on it. No, you okay. can. Yeah, go ahead. She could do. Yeah, you could do either. Uh, but I'm gonna keep the initiative for uh, Viola's turn. Yeah, that's fine. Can I do magic missile? Sure, go ahead. Uh, roll. So I don't have hit. to roll for it, right? I just do. Okay. For this one, I'm just gonna roll it because I don't want to roll six times. So. Okay. Why is it not rolling on? I'll just say what the damage was. It, for some reason, it's not rolling on. Do you, uh, roll twenty. 
It was five, five, and four. Okay. Uh, you do manage to smash a hole in the wall. And as you do... Right here. Rats. Sure enough. Guinea pigs. I swear. Anything. The rats. So, <laughs> how much damage did I need to do to the wall before I could deal damage uh, to what was inside the wall? You know what? Oh, yeah, you could break both walls with magic missile if you wanted to. Or hit the rats, too. Oh, yeah, or hit the rats will come out. Well, that's what I'm saying. Like, I, I would assume if I hit a wall, it would continue pelting. How many like magic three. missiles do you have? Three. So one of your hits hit the wall, so the other two can hit the rats. Okay, so that means... Five damage hit the wall, and then nine damage hits the rats. Okay. You strike the rats uh, for nine damage. And um, with that, uh, next in initiative is Ordair. All right. I swing my morning star. Mm -hmm. Back okay. and forth. Morning star ring true. Twelve. Ooh. That hits for ten, ten damage. All right. Solid. Thanks. Thank you. Uh, and then Zendaka, your turn. Uh, I will go to my true form, so I will shift and be a werewolf, and then I will attack him. Okay. Does a 10 hit them? That just hits. And... 12 piercing damage. Um, it looks like you, you strike a good amount of them. Only a few remain uh, standing. Uh, and with that law, you're up. <clears throat> so I'm going to pull out my short sword as well as my long sword and swing one hand with the long sword and one hand to short sword. Okay. Go ahead and roll. That. Whoa! Hey, wow. Wow. Look at that. You take so out. It's 14 you take total. out the rest of the brats um, in this area nice. and leave an brats open hole. Right. <laughs> the brats! Mm -hmm. And uh, brats out. Leaving this room open for you all. The scythe next to the door here, uh, but you are all uh, able to enter the next room. Uh, Viola, your turn. She will enter that room, beeline for that corner, and then she will cast, uh, I'm actually, did I not, I think I, yeah, okay, I'm out, I should be, ignore that. Okay. Um, I didn't uh, have the slot taken up, so ignore that. Um, would Firebolt do damage to the wall? Uh, yeah. Okay, so I'll cast that. That 15 hits. 15 hits the wall. Yes. Alright, and then... And I'm you're... Going to... Oh, right. Let me just double check it. Uh, five. Okay. You do manage to scorch a hole in the wall, uh, right here. And... Let me guess. <laughs> and more up here. I'd rather deal with rats, though, than that thing. <laughs> Swarm of rats appears once again. Um, and with that, it is Ordare's turn. We're almost free, friends. Let's just go a little bit more. All right. Trusty Morningstar, take out some rats. <laughs> Did it not go through? Uh, no. no. You can just tell us what it is. There, oh, it just went through. There we go. Okay. Yeah, it was like delayed Nine on. Nine piercing. On, it wasn't showing up on. That on hits. And uh. Oh. Uh, thanks, George. Hey, thanks, nice. George, for all of the sub gifts. Ooh. Wait. 
Wait, 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 yeah, that's oh, what I'm like. I don't, I don't know what that means. <laughs> Are we dead? <laughs> Panic. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Soon. <laughs> Soon. Um, and with that, uh, Zandaka. I'm going to run up and attack those rats. Okay. That hits. Uh, and I will actually use a key point for a flurry of blows on these rats. Okay. So eight more, and then eight more. So ah, ah, 16 bludgeoning on top okay. of the five piercing. All right. Um, you take out a good portion of them. There's still a few remaining. Uh, Law, your turn. Long sword, short sword as well again. Aww. And, uh, <clears throat> not quite as successful this time. <laughs> it's alright, Law. It happens to the best of us. And I'm just worn out, you know. This you, age is catching the, up. The me. alcohol uh, that you just took a slip sip of uh, kind of <clears throat> hits you for a second. You feel you must construct a additional pylons. pylons. Hold on, I just got the sub notification sound. Whoa! Pylons. Thanks, Sabine! <laughs> the pylon Whoa. song is playing pylons. now. <laughs> also, Panic Switch just donated $100. Yeah. You and George, go buy uh. yourself some dice or something. You and George, go buy yourself some dice or something. Oh, thanks, Sabine! Thank you! Thank you for the the donation. We will we will put it in the D and D fund for something. Maybe miniatures for the three D printer, or <laughs> something. <laughs> he'll, right. he'll use that to print the Piddlewick miniatures or something. No, <laughs> yes. oh, yeah. oh, we'll no. find the materials. Piddlewick. I don't Piddlewick. want your money. Yeah, give it back. <laughs> give it back. <laughs> <laughs> give, That's no. what they're chanting. Down there. They're fun. chanting Piddlewick. <laughs> oh my god. Uh, no. To be in your party. No. You party completely missed Piddlewick in your campaign, and I'm very sad about it. Um, so you will not, you will never saw the joy of Piddlewick in, in your Christmas the joy, campaign. The joy, the horror, <laughs> the <abject> horror. <laughs> um, okay. Uh, so with that, uh, law, the rats, the rats will strike at you, Zandaka. <clears throat> oh boy, here we go. Uh. That 17. hits me, yes. Uh -oh. So it's just one six. You take two. Hey, only two damage. Two piercing damage okay. from the the remaining few rats. And uh, Viola, it is your turn. Well, whoa, 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 whoa! What did I just roll? Oh, I don't know why I rolled something. Um, uh, I will cast Firebolt again on them because I am. I'm tired of them. I feel like you're due for a bad roll. No? That hits, right? That hits? Yes. Okay. So hold on. Wait. Well done. So. Five. Oh, man. You're so close. <laughs> you're so close to taking out the last of these rats. Uh. But not quite there. A few remain or dare. It is your turn. You remain? A yes. Few I'm gonna, remain. I'm gonna stomp on them. Finish them off. You're, <laughs> you're gonna stomp on them. <laughs> that hits, and oh. with that, <laughs> with the Jesus. last final steps, Ordare in his after all that you all have went, been through, his final hits and slashes go through the rats, and they all die. And you guys are able to pass through this <gasps> wall to the outside porch of the house. We made it! We live! We are, live. are we actually outside? Yeah, do we actually live? Yeah, right? Right. Like we gotta this... burn this house down. <laughs> oh yeah! As we're leaving, I'm gonna toss uh, the alchemist the, fire. Uh, 
alchemist fire in there. Light as it up. As long as we're outside, right? We're outside. You all stand. Yeah, once we're outside. What? You stand outside. Oh. One moment. Okay, because it shows on the other map, and I was like, don't fucking tell me we're in the basement. <laughs> we're so small. Oop. Uh, you all stand outside of this house. Not to scale. <laughs> <laughs> the house. You see that on the outside, it's still boarded. And the, the trembling that you once had, that you once heard from the inside, as you step out, it all stops. You all take a breath for a second. Maybe a sigh of relief. You all made it outside. You stand there and look at the house. It remains standing. The mists around you, they slowly kind of dissipate slightly. You still see it in the distance, but it's not right up against the house like it previously was. And you all stand there. Is there anything in the immediate moment that you would like to do? Yeah, I hated this house. <laughs> <laughs> Law's it's gonna a terrible house. <laughs> Law's gonna throw the alchemist fire inside where we just uh, came from and say, "This drinks on me." Okay, you throw the fire into the Love house. It, it rolls. The sunglasses in. on. You see, <clears throat> you see a small flame protrude from the alchemist fire in front of you. Anything else anybody would like to do? I'm just happy to get out of there. I, I do want to talk to Ordea real quick. Go ahead. Ordea, can I talk for you too for a second? Something I gotta tell you. Of course. Another job in the bag. For the... <laughs> That's what I want to talk to you about. Or dare in law. This is my last job. Hanging up the hat. I I don't know what to say. Hey, you just caught up to me. You saw me back there. It's time. I've been chasing answers for so long. I've gotten tired. It's time to, to come home. I don't know what I'll do without you, Law. I'll it's still been... be around. Well, you'll have to come for dinner. Of course. See Callan and Corianne. <laughs> of course. We're all family. Maybe you should take on Zantaka as your new partner. Oh. I don't know if I'm up for that job, but I could sure try. Uh, I, I'm not sure. He <laughs> doesn't fit the naming. He doesn't fit the naming scheme. That's true. What is it going to be? Just o order and Zendaka? That well, doesn't make any Zendaka sense. Zendaka actually means balance, so balance and order kind of sounds okay. Hmm. Could you legally change your name? I suppose. It, it it would be easier than changing the name of the business. <laughs> <laughs> we can talk about this later, but I have to say, partner, it's been great serving with you. And it's been I'm a hell of a ride. I wouldn't, I wouldn't trade you for the world. I imagine all... they all like start walking away, and she, Viola's just like, "What a strange day." Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> As you all stand there amongst yourselves, chatting, Marshall, you give your uh, resignation to the, uh, the duo and begin to slowly walk away from this horrible house that you all have 
endured for it was only two days maybe but seems like so much longer as it stands there before you a small flame at the bottom not catching fire to the rest of the house marshall or dare you're the first to see this but you look in the distance and you see you see something it looks like a swarm of something a swarm of bats? bats? Not rats. Oh. Bats this time. <laughs> coming towards you. Straight toward you. <sighs> all four of you. Beelining towards you. Everybody, roll me a dexterity saving throw as these bats oh. take you by surprise. Uh. Through the mists, fly at you. Oh, oh, come I'm on. retired. I'm retired. I can't hide this in me. I rolled a two. But I'm so dexterous. <laughs> Eleven. No. <laughs> the bats fly all around you and swarm in your faces. Viola, you manage to hold your ground and spat them out of the way. Uh, or dare you also Vermin. kind of keep your keep your uh, composure a little bit. But Law and Zandaka, the two of you fall over and fall prone as these bats swarm over you. They all f it flies up up into the sky after flying over you like Batman and Batman begins it flies over you and you see in the distance appearing before you is a man maybe a man? the myth legend you see Strahd von Zarevich ooh <gasps> no 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 it's not good and you see oh, also. I've about him in my studies. This is bad. <laughs> <laughs> it's George? <laughs> you see George? <laughs> this is spookiest. <laughs> okay. Congratulations. You have made it through my test. Allow me to be the first to welcome you. To Barovia, my kingdom, my home. I think we'll be seeing a lot more of each other. <laughs> and with that, he turns into a swarm of bats. And bats are flying all around you, but he turns into a swarm of bats. And there are now just bats everywhere. There's too many bats here. And then behind you, Law, the bats reform into Strahd. But as the house said, one must die. No! And he grabs no! Law, and he soars up into the dark and misty night. And that is the last any of you will ever see of Law. Just retired! I don't, I don't believe you. I don't believe it. <laughs> Why you do this, George? <laughs> Why do you always attack him? He's smiling, he's smiling! The end. <laughs> no, Law! I blame Tracy. Join it, Tracy's join hiding next behind time George on this one. <laughs> uh, well, there's... Good work, everybody. You complete. Oh, and those of you except Marshall, level up. <laughs> it's a level three. Uh, <laughs> oh, do, I get, uh, do I get inspiration for not taking a single damage hit the entire campaign? Wow. Wow. I didn't get everything missed. I didn't take a single, single CPS, piece of man. They get they get yeah. to sit in the back and. It's true. True. Now, in fairness, I didn't just pick Law because he was retiring. <laughs> I picked him because he had the lowest hit points. I did also so put my blood on the altar too. It makes sense. Did he? How much true? I had. I was pretty low. I had like seven, I think. Uh, I thought I, I had was six. Okay. Six HP. It I thought about me. healing too. I thought it about you were too weak me. to continue through Barovia. True. I was too old. Washed up too old. over the hill. Damn, it was close though. It could have been you or, or, or Dare. 
Did, did the did the house burn down though? Oh no. The house. You look behind and the fires just go out as Law is gone, yep. and the door just slams shut. For the next victims who come uh, into this land. And in the window, you would see. Sorry, in the window, you would see Rose and Thorn just watching you from inside the house. But <sighs> well, we put them to. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> just a test. So sad. Or there, in the back of your mind, you know that Law wouldn't have had it any other way. And he's glad he was the one that was taken. And none of your characters will be able to leave Barovia. Ever. How will I return to Black One? <laughs> but what about what about my son? Strad won't let you leave. Calendar. <laughs> oh my God! I just got it. Calendar. Calendar and Coriander. <laughs> Calendar. Your son, Calendar. <laughs> <laughs> I hate it. I hate it. <laughs> we said it like five times throughout. But I only heard Callan. Callan and Coriander or whatever. I, said, yeah. I heard the first time I... Oh, yeah, I didn't say it. But I... I didn't hear yeah. Calendare. Yeah, you're supposed yeah. to kind of be like, Calendare. Calendare. <laughs> Viola's very smart. The smartest uh, of the entire group, clearly. She, she just decided not to listen. Uh... <laughs> Terrible oh puns. God. That's so. That's what you like, Tracy. You like the ending when one person gets taken. <laughs> Whoa, ah, ah, ah. That was actually my idea. Uh, sort of. Actually, it was George's idea. Uh, my idea. I well. So my. So at the end of Death House, you. It's not written in the module that you get greeted by Strahd. I just like to add that in at the end because it's like players go in to Barovia and they don't realize that they can't leave because Strahd won't let them leave. He runs mm -hmm. the land. He is the ancient. He is the land. He runs this he place. Funny. So I always like to say like their first encounter with Death House, if they survive, Strahd greets them and welcomes them to his land. And in this case, he takes one of you. <laughs> that's, I was going to say, that's so good. So, yeah, that, that should honestly be, like, written in, like, if you don't do a sacrifice. I agree. Yeah. Like, it makes so way too much sense. what would happen if we had done a sacrifice? He would just yeah. be like, welcome, Strahd, good job. Yep, Strahd would greet you and say, you passed my first test, welcome. That's yeah, that's how and, I would play it, yeah. And what happens if we do do a sacrifice? Does the thing not come to life? And we Correct. Like, and you're able to just leave the house. And the house. It doesn't attack you. Uh, a death trap. Either. Yep. And if we had like just a to walk like a, out, what if we had like a pet and we sacrificed the pet? Would that have worked? If it was a pet that you cared about deeply, if it was like a Piddlewick that you love and care for, you would, you would have to. Never would you would you would have to feel it, <laughs> like if it was just like eh, <laughs> like an animal that I don't really care about. <laughs> fine, but if it's like a companion that you love, it ha you have to feel <laughs> something to sacrifice it. So if it was just like, oh, I found this animal, <laughs> you can die. No, it has to Fair. be something. It has to be lost, basically. Uh, like uh, the... now, if it was my real pet, I never would have. I would have yeah. sacrificed all exactly. of you yeah. before I got exactly. <laughs> before I, <was> my pet. <laughs> I considered sacrificing Law and giving that whole <laughs> retirement speech there. Wow. I considered it. Aww, Wouldn't have been as interesting. That would have been really sad. Yeah. <laughs> well, it all ended up really sad anyway. Jeez. That's true. Wait, is that true you. then? Any time you enter Barovia, you can't leave? Because technically, George, our party entered Barovia before. There was unique terms. So she's talking about in our noble campaign. Or no, actually, our adventure campaign. Mm -hmm. The unique circumstances there was that you had a guide. Mm. A archmage who is well versed in that land okay. and they were able to help you leave but under normal circumstances no you can't leave that place once you enter unless Strahd permits it the other thing is it's possible that in for instance in in Benedict and Oliver's case it's possible that he permitted them to leave interesting and Telgor very, very interesting. Yes, and Tilgore. Yep. Interesting. That's even more interesting for the adventuring party now. They have a job there. Mm-hmm. 
in my you have a job in Barovia. Not know that. <laughs> oh, that's not good at all. Yeah, they have yeah, a job in Barovia. You gave them your job. a job yeah, in Barovia. Yeah, it's hiring you, Jaden. We're hiring oh. them. <laughs> yes, oh, how right. did I forget? Oh, right. <laughs> of course, I decided to hire these wonderful adventurers. Remember when we were going to send an army? <laughs> to fight <laughs> John? And then it was, then it was to a noble party, said, which is send, send most of the members group. here. They, so there's an adventure campaign I run. The noble party will often create uh, essentially the next story for the adventure party because the noble party will just pay Ak Inc. to do something and then the adventure party doesn't really have a choice it's their job so yep go and to Oliver owns them. <laughs> <laughs> yeah at the end of our campaigns we should do a story time because this the that the campaigns are just insane there's so yeah. much there's so much yeah. I could be like this story time that'd be really fun yeah. to, like, so story people time. Go I told Tracy the yesterday the big stuff that's awaiting the adventure party and she was just like oh my god <laughs> oh, no. i'm it's like fine. yes it's fine we're totally <laughs> we're fine <laughs> <laughs> they're not fine <laughs> they're not fine the, well the noble campaign cares deeply about the adventure <laughs> there's a good amount of uh there's a good amount of uh, uh crossover stuff too because didn't the adventure party take down that like giant construct which then my character harvested for a lot of money since yeah. it was made mm -hmm. out of adamantine. <laughs> yep. And that adventure party received zero awards, accolades, or attention for doing that. Perfect. Yep. No one knows that they saved wow. the world. Yep. And, and if I had known that you had to uh, save times. the world, I wouldn't have shared any profit with you still. That's not how that works. <laughs> <laughs> But no, this is awesome. This is really wow. Fun. You guys like all this. did it, and this another death house that I run, and nobody died in the house. God damn well, it! Technically, <laughs> technically, three people were down. You're down, True. but Almost. nobody died. Everyone, but luckily, Viola was with them, and she was able to um, be a very, very uh, helpful member of the team. Or later on, said, in the beginning, you a little slow, but yeah. turn it on. I said I was going to gift subs if someone died, and I didn't know if you guys were going to make it through the rest of the house, because one rat bite or one sliding blade could have killed you. Yeah. But I also knew. You knew. At the end. Someone wasn't making it out. Someone would die. <laughs> yeah. Oh. No. Uh, well. This is our last last job together. Good work, guys. It, I enjoyed it. it. it was fun. I, I really enjoyed your guys' characters. Um, I thought it was a really fun <laughs> dynamic. Um, and you guys were did pretty well for yourselves, actually. Um, you did a good job. I ran at disadvantage. <laughs> yeah. There was a few In things. Case you guys didn't get that, by the way. It's because she didn't actually go to a real school. Like her, the, the idea was that she made a deal in hell to attend this prestigious school that was actually a fake school, kind of like oh one my of those God. Trump universities. Uh, so yeah. she fully thinks that she attended a real school and she learned real things, but really she didn't learn proper magic. <laughs> so everything she was casting, she it, it would be like someone just finding a book and being like, I'm gonna try to cast this. <laughs> they were actually <laughs> teaching no sleight of hand. Yeah. Like, uh, like, like, actual like practical magic, magic I bet. Yeah. Yeah. Like uh, yeah. card it's tricks and stuff. School. Yeah. <laughs> but, like, You're really good at a bunch of words like yeah. Alakazam. Yeah. And she's like, yeah. oh. Yeah. That'd have been so funny if you threw that in there. You're like, Abracadabra, whatever she did here. Well, that's why that's why I asked about that book. Because she would have pretended to be like, oh, yes, of course, I know these spells. Yeah. But realistically, it's the same thing as the exact books in her bag that they, she could say them and it, she doesn't. She has no Is your character proficient them. at sleight of hand? Uh, I don't think I made her proficient. I, I would have just given them proficiency in sleight of hand. Just like, <laughs> yeah, they can do magic tricks because that's yeah. the actual yeah. school they went to. And then I could have like, given you that deck of cards. What is that spell? Ther therm therma Thermaturgy. Thaumaturgy. 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 That's probably the, what she's most proficient in and the best at. It's like, I could change the color of my eyes. <laughs> it's like that very like showy magic, kind of yeah. like uh, gym dark magic. But she, she, yeah. if you're like, actually do something, she'd be like completely useless. Uh, gym dark magic is a real magician. 
So, so is Viola. No one's asking for your autographs. I'm sorry. Yeah. <laughs> Not, Not yet. yet. <laughs> she may be a star in Barovia. We, we don't know. Yeah, <laughs> you know, she could perform tricks. She has the gym doc magic of watching. She'll burn Barovia. like a star, all right. <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> Bijan, how going. many hit points did you have left at the end? Eleven. I was gonna say because I, oh, whenever shit. Tracy, whenever Tracy close. was like, anything yeah. else you want to do? I almost cast cure wounds on myself mm, so then yeah i was Ooh, watching the dnd beyond bad. extension and just looking at everybody's missed. hit points on there it's just like Ooh, yeah like Ooh, that's I pretty take. crazy how close it you was funny is that you. i was yeah. also thinking of using my other cure wounds on myself so i wonder <laughs> depending on how well we, we each rolled we would have it seen have frank <laughs> yeah it could have been that's yeah true. that'd have been viola that's for sure yeah <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Actually, yeah, if everyone was at full HP, yes. it would have been Viola. That's the only way, is if everyone <laughs> yeah. was full of HP. Yeah, because she has probably the lowest. Yeah, uh, mm -hmm. of the, and everyone else points. has 20 yeah. and 24. 20. So is there anything else that we, like, missed or skipped or, like, alternate um, courses? Mm -hmm. Trying to think if there's anything. Um, the Dumbwaiter, which didn't decapitate anybody. Yeah. Um, which is yeah, good. Frank that's and, and Vanessa, there's a Dumbwaiter on that first floor. The animated broom, which is one of my favorites. Oh, yeah, there's a oh. closet. It's a broom that just tries to beat you to death. Yep. Oh, nice. There's a closet that you didn't oh. open. Um, oh, I forgot to make the animated armor we attack you guys. We missed the Fantasia encounter. Oops. I'm so disappointed that we didn't oh, get yeah. attacked. Didn't it? One of Isn't the, that... at the top of the stairs on the third floor, uh, the third floor? Uh, second floor, actually. The animated armors, one of them, if you get close to it it shoves you down the stairs because oh. it's that spiral staircase you fall down two flights of stairs i forgot to do and that. take bludgeoning damage at the bottom oops yeah i i well, should have done tracy that. tracy was merciful uh we talked about this yesterday because you guys like that uh the specter that you guys fought was brutal yep. uh, yeah yeah that rolls so it made. Hard. yeah yeah that one's pretty deadly um what so. would have happened if I had taken the orb? Uh, I think shadows would have attacked you, which I think shadows are pretty brutal too, if I'm not mistaken. Um, would I have kept the orb though? You would have kept the orb if you survived. If he lived. Five <laughs> shadows form around the statue and attack you. Uh, shadows. Uh, oh, shadows have, are brutal. Yep. They have 16 hit points, but they have strength drain. Oh, they, they drain your strength, and if you hit zero strength, you die. Uh, that oh, happened to my character shit. in Curse of Strahd. She was Ooh, drained yeah. completely from a shadow and died of her strength. <clears throat> so that's that a good thing we didn't take that order. Yeah, Viola, yeah. who has negative one strength, <laughs> uh, probably two hits, or two or three from the shadows, and you would have been dead. Not down, just dead. Yep. The target dies uh, if it uh, strength reduces to zero. Um, if a non-evil humanoid dies from this attack, a new shadow rises from the corpse. Woo! So Baby. did your other group get out? Did they also attack walls? Um, so, uh, they also attacked walls and had to deal with swarms of rats. Um, they also, so, so all three times I've played, so when I played Death House with George DMing, we also didn't kill anybody. When I ran it the first time, nobody killed anybody. And then this third time, nobody killed. So far, nobody has sacrificed somebody at the dais. That I've yet to see that happen. So, You'll have to get like a party to Prescovia do did lose a lot of uh, servants did in she? the house, though. Because oh, she yeah. was a noble, and so she had three servants with her. But we didn't and they all sacrifice anybody. Two of them died. Right. No, they, you didn't sacrifice them. They were just killed. One of them yeah. was killed by the specter, actually. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah, uh, so wait, the would same we thing. Have had to do a sacrifice if someone died in the house? Like, if we had died to the specter, like a person? So, it has to be on the altar, right? It has to be on the altar. So, the even, altar. so even if, like, Marshall had died earlier, um, it doesn't matter. You still would have had that happen, and they would still would have oh, chanted God, one must die. Sucks. It's crazy, yeah. So... You should run like an evil party. Like I know party to this. People who haven't played it be like, you have to make an evil character yep. and then make them hold true to that evil character. 
Yeah, just to have somebody. Be a, there'll be a fight. They all fight each other. And PvP they at the end. Each other on the altar. Oh, you're gonna die. You're gonna die. Noble yeah. party might find themselves in this house. So, hey, don't, don't say that. Well, don't, don't say that. Don't His, say that. He's not like you know a human, so he, he couldn't be sacrificed. So, you need <laughs> no comment. <laughs> In case there's anyone from our campaign in there. <laughs> yes, a great question from chat. Is the Noble Party evil? That's a great question, chat. Yes. yes. Noble Party. <laughs> We're a bunch of evil bitches. <laughs> yeah. I, like, I like Frank's the first one to re respond and has the most resignation in his voice. It's so much badness yes. in Frank's voice. Yeah, yes. We have a witch. Want to be evil. We have a lich. We are all. <laughs> a, a Asmodeus worshiper basically a vampire and a psychotic scientist basically <laughs> and an evil uh, and, and then there's me and Jaden. we're 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 just normal we're a <laughs> mother in training and a yeah a, a very vain in pompous bard yes yeah. and yes the wand of polymorph <laughs> is fake and it does say in it like there's a wand that looks like a wand of polymorph but it's just, uh, I think it has the description of what it is. A desiccated frog lashed to a stick. Wow. Could be mistaken for a wand of polymorph. <laughs> That's what the book says. Wow. Is there anything That's... useful in the house that we didn't grab? Um, actually, like... Those crossbows were actually really useful if you wanted to avoid damage. Yeah, I had a bow, but I, it doesn't there's, do very much there's damage. There's a secret so. room that nobody ever finds. And my first party didn't find it either. But there's a letter from Strahd in there, which I think is really cool. Ooh. Um, yeah, how do you get to that one little? That's like the staircase to the ladder yeah, that the we ladder. We, yeah. we mentioned, but we didn't in the dungeon. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. It's a secret uh, door that was the, the. It was a secret door. It was a that goes to the larder. I think it's like the because it's like a larder? kitchen. Yeah, and then that is actually oh. it just takes you down to the room with the Strahd statue. So it's just like a secret, random secret door. <clears throat> gotcha. Yeah. Yeah, I'm trying. Yeah, you guys, uh, you guys did good though. Um, <clears throat> yeah, good work. Nobody, we did it. Nobody we has died. It. We did it. Well, nobody has died. Uh, oh, did you so, forget yeah. That? <laughs> well, I guess martial law <laughs> did died. unfortunately How dare die. You call me a nobody. <laughs> but the rest of you nobody did great. Died. Congratulations for mostly surviving Death House and uh, having characters to reach level three. Uh, you're Strahd's new playthings, so welcome to Barovia. You did great. Uh, I applaud and, uh, you. When do we start the Curse of Strahd? <laughs> yeah, and uh, tune in next three. week for that. I'm just kidding. <laughs> At level three. <laughs> um, but Ooh, yeah. You know, it'd be fun, George, if, um, if whoever's parties go to Barovia for Lady Cat, they bump into those characters. That could be fun. Ooh. We've already discussed, discussed that. <laughs> oh, oh, I'm, so <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah, that was uh, that was part of the plan. Why'd you go all Dritz voice on it? Oh <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, well, th thank you again, guys, for playing in uh my my Death House uh, campaign. I very very much appreciate it. You guys were awesome. Mm -hmm. Thank you as always. Um, thanks everybody in chat for hanging out um, and and watching. Uh, the VODs will be uploaded to YouTube and everything. So if you want to watch the full thing, feel free to do so. Um, and we'll be, I'm sure these guys will be back on my stream at some point, one time or another, we'll, we'll see. Um, and yeah, we'll be back tomorrow, George and I. We'll be back uh, with Waterdeep, with the rest of the crew for Waterdeep Dragon Heist. I have to prepare for a Waterdeep campaign tomorrow. Ooh. Indeed. Oh, no. Whoops. <laughs> You're in trouble. Okay. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. Um, and thank you, George, for uh, coming in last minute for the Strahd. I did I did ask him last night. I was like, George, at the end, they're going to meet Strahd. Do you want to play Strahd? George's like, yes. Yeah. <laughs> of course. Yeah. How? Yeah. Why would you even ask? The answer is yes. So, yeah. Wait, wait. Mm -hmm. I can reenact George. Hold on. Ready? He's like this. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Wait, wait, wait. Yes. Yeah. Yes. No have to ask twice. No have to ask. Yes. <laughs> um. So yeah, uh, we'll be back tomorrow for more D and D. So if you like D and D, feel free to tune in tomorrow for even more. 
Uh, and with that, uh, I will see you all tomorrow then. Thanks, everybody. Oh, should we try to like raid or something? We should probably we should do that. All right, let's um, see who's streaming. Who's streaming? Uh, are there any D and D people that we know? I know Robert is not live. Oh wait, he is live. Live. I was like, we just hosted. Oh, uh, Legends of Aventress is streaming, and they do Curse of Strahd also. So mm. nice. Uh oh, they're doing a post campaign chill session. That's fine. We'll go ahead and host them. I've watched their, I actually watched their Death House uh, on their YouTube channel to get some inspiration for my own. So they seem pretty cool. So we're going to go ahead and raid them. Uh, thanks again, everybody. And see thanks. you all yeah, thanks, everyone. tomorrow. In the future. Bye. And in the future for everybody else. Bye. <laughs> Bye. Bye. Okay. Raid <laughs> now. And end stream.